aquarium. It's got the underwater lift as well, which I'm really excited for. I'm here with Danny. Yo, yo. And Danny's sister, Chloe. And we're going to go in in a minute. Um, just, there's a really big queue and we didn't really fancy standing in it, but I think we're going to have to. So I'll do some filming while I'm in there. I'm definitely going to be filming in the lift. We're going in really the lift. Windy. It is really windy. I don't even know if this is going to pick me up because it picks up wind a lot. Right, we're going to go in. Chloe and Dad are just playing. I don't even know what it is. Spin the fish. Which one are you, Dan? Top one. I'm the bottom one. I'm the bottom one. <laughs> Come on. You've got no chance. I don't know. You've won. Get a handful of food and then put it in the top right the fish back and have a look at themselves. And the hungriest ones are going to get the most to eat. Those that start to be less hungry may not eat until it's local later on in the day where we do our multiple feeds. It just means that everything gets a fair and even opportunity for a meal. We also do a few other things. Here we do target feeds when we send divers into this tank. And the divers actually go in and they specifically aim for some of the animals. Slightly later on this afternoon, I think the sharks will get their own little target feed that will take place. They are slightly bigger than everything else in here. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you have fun, Chloe? Yeah. 
Um, I'm definitely going to be going back. I think when, when the baby's born and older, I'm going to bring it back. Just got home from the deep. I look terrible. You can see my spot now as well because the makeup's worn off. <laughs> my hair's everywhere. But yeah, we just got home. I am absolutely knackered. It's, what time is it? It's 10 past 11. Um, we've been out from about half seven this morning. So yeah, I'm absolutely shattered. Look at the state of my hair. It's a mess. Um, so yeah, I've just come in, sorted the animals out and I'm going up to bed. Daniel's already gone up to bed. I'm not going to go straight to sleep because I need to chill out for a bit first. I'm going to um, I'm gonna watch a little bit of YouTube but not do much tonight. So yeah, I'm going to go up to bed. No one answers their phone. Why does no one answer their phone these days? <sighs> I've just woke up which is why my hair is like this. And you can see my spots because there's no makeup on yet. I'm trying to get hold of Daniel, who is not here for some reason. I don't know where he is. I'm trying to find out where he is, and I'm also trying to ring my mum. Um, no one answers the phone. It annoys me. Why have a phone and then not answer it? I didn't close off the vlog on Wednesday when we went to the deep. Just because um, it's now Saturday, and I have a gig tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. So I thought, rather than close it off and then, like, just have a little bit of footage from the gig and not, it's not really going to be enough for a full vlog, um, I thought I would leave it and include tomorrow's gig in this vlog. So that's what I'm going to do. But right now, I need to get dressed because I'm still in my pyjamas. My beautiful aerial pyjamas, of course. Um... I need to get dressed, I need to feed my animals and then I think I need to go into town today because it's quite warm outside, it's been quite warm for the last couple of days um, and I know that we are supposed to be getting a heat wave and I'm already so fat from this baby <laughs> that I'm already in maternity pants so the only ones that I've got are full length jeans and yesterday I was really really hot in those so I want to go into town and see if they've got some crop ones or any kind of crop pants or thinner pants in my maternity size. Um, they did have but they were in the sale and I kind of want to get them in the sale while they're cheap because I don't want to pay full price for them because they're really expensive. Um, so yeah I'm going to go into town and see if I can get hold of some of those while they're in the sale. So I'm going to go and get dressed and then the next time you see me I will hopefully look a little bit better than this. And I will also continue to try and phone Daniel and my mother and see where they are. Let's hope they pick the phones up. I've just given um, Anna and Elsa some pepper for the first time. They've never had it before and they love it. Usually they've got cabbage in the bottom of the bottle and usually they will, like Elsa's doing now, she'll pull everything out um, to get to the... Oh no, she stopped. They love it. Usually they pull everything else out to get to the cabbage and then they'll eat that first and then go back to everything else but they've gone straight for the pepper. So I think I think it's a hit. I think I'll be getting that again. Home now. Um, I just managed to... I still look a mess. <laughs> Decided not to put makeup on so um, my little friend is still present. I managed to get my jeans that I wanted. I was also really angry um, because... I bought some maternity jeans. I'm just unpacking them now. I did buy some maternity jeans um, last week, I think it was, or a couple of weeks ago. Um, and they were... That isn't what I was looking for. Yeah, I bought some maternity jeans and they were the same size as the ones that I'm wearing at the moment, which are absolutely fine. Um, then I went to put these in the wash last night, no, this morning. Um, I went to put these other new ones on and they were absolutely massive. They did not fit me, like, at all. I could pull them up to here. That's how big they were. So, I'd already taken them back once because they'd, um, they'd put a size 8 on a size 16 hanger. 
something like that. I can't remember the sizes, but um, yeah, basically they put the wrong jeans on the wrong hanger. So I'd already taken them back once and changed them for the right size, and apparently these were labelled up wrong. They were absolutely huge, so I was fuming. So I had to um, take those back as well. They've changed those. I've tried them on as well before I left the shop this time because I thought I'm not coming back again. So yeah, I've got some more maternity jeans. I'm not going to show you the jeans because jeans are jeans. They're just maternity ones with a big like elastic waistband so that as my bump grows, um, I'm not going to grow out of the jeans. So I've got full length ones. I've got my croppy ones, which I think I might wear tomorrow um, for the gig because it is really hot at the moment. And I also got another got a sale on as well i also got um another maternity top i'll just um i'll put the camera up here and show you excuse me lauren let's just pop you there excuse the mess on the bed <laughs> um there we go and the thing i like about this top is it says future superstar but i was thinking even though it is a maternity top and it's meant to, it's meant to be like the baby's a future superstar. It doesn't necessarily have to be maternity. I could probably wear this afterwards as well. Because I am a future superstar. <laughs> so yeah, I got those. Um, other than that, I'll just pick you up again. Other than that, I didn't really buy much. I didn't need anything. I just needed a new chopping board. Um, so I got a new chopping board. Ice cream chewits. I found ice cream chewits. I've looked for those for absolutely years. I thought they'd stop making them and I found some. So I've got like a pack of six. B&M's, if anybody's looking for any ice cream chewits, they have them in B&M's. So I'm just going to put my maternity clothes away. And then um, Daniel's not in at the moment. So I think what I'm going to do is get my book that I'm currently reading. Take it downstairs and just have... A little bit of a munch, might have a packet of crisp or something and a drink um, and just read my book for a bit because I like to chill out and read my book. I'm a big reader. See, I'm reading this one at the moment, The the Au Pair, the Au Pair. I'm never quite sure how to say that, by Jenny Fraser. Um, I'm about 143 pages in, something like that, and it's really, really good so far. It's the first one of hers that I've read. But um, I'm definitely going to be looking for more of hers because so far it's really, really good. Um, as you can see, my bookshelf is um, pretty full. There's also some, um, some ginger biscuits on there from when I was being really, really sick in the mornings. I tried those and they didn't really work. Yeah, I've got a good selection on there. I've got some Giovanna Fletcher, Jordi Pickle, Sophie Kinsella. Dorothy Coombson, I've got loads of Diane Chamberlain's, she's really good, she's a good writer. I've got Carrie's book down there, Carrie Hope Fletcher's book, which I have just read, it's one of the last books that I read and it's really really good, if any of you haven't bought that yet, it is really good, I recommend it, well done Carrie, looking forward to her next one. So yeah, I'm going to go and read my book and charge my camera ready for tomorrow because it's, it's um, starting to lose battery. And I want to be able to film something tomorrow because otherwise there's absolutely no point in me not having closed off this vlog. Um, I really need to like trim my eyebrows as well at some point. They're getting quite bad again. My eyebrows go really grow. My eyebrows grow really, really fast and really, really thick as well. And oh, I always have to trim them. Blah. I'm in here so for the garden.
Oh, thank you very much to Rachel. Big round of applause to Rachel. I've just got back from the gig in the garden event. It was really, really good. It's been a really nice day and the performance went down well, I think. Um, the organiser was happy with it anyway, so he said he'll get in touch if he has any more. Um, we've now got to rush straight back out. We had to come on to sort the dog out, but it's now half past six and we have to be at the theatre for seven for a very boring AGM meeting. I'm only going because there's free food. So yeah, we're going to ring a taxi. You're going to ring a taxi? Yes. No. Because I need some food. And then, when I get home... The camera's dying again already. It doesn't last very long, this camera, anymore. I might try and get a new battery. Um, when I get home, I'm going to try and edit this video. So, I'll end this vlog here. And I will get it up within the next day or two for you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.